Hi guys, it's Maka here from Adventurous World. Now, I'm in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life, and I bet it's somewhere that you have never even heard of before. I'm currently on Lord Howard Island, which is this tiny paradise island just two hours off the coast of Sydney. Now, this place is on the small side, only 360 people live here, but it's been described as the Galapagos of Australia. Now, as you can see, this place is absolutely stunning. And I really can't wait to show you what this island is all about. Lord Howe Island is one of those places that just makes you feel special from the moment you arrive. It has some of the most beautiful beaches and clearest waters of anywhere I've been on my travels. And the best bit is, you'll pretty much have the place to yourself. I don't usually wake up at this time of the morning, but it's 5.20 a.m. Uh, but hiking to the top of Malabar Hill, the sunrise obviously which is what is going on all around me. So heading all the way up there, hopefully, for some gorgeous photos of this guy in the background. So I've made it to the top of Malabar Hill and I'm at this viewpoint overlooking the beach in time for sunrise. I mean, this is spectacular and this is such a good way to start the day. From Malabar Hill, I continued hiking along the top of the island until I got to Kim's Lookout. Personally, I'd say that this is the best spot on the island for views of Mount Gower and Mount Lingbird in the background. And I really can't recommend this hike enough, even if it does mean waking up at 5am. I have come down to the pier and I'm about to jump on a boat and go on a boat tour all the way around the island. And this is the best way of seeing the dramatic scenery and coastline that Lord Howe Island is famous for. So expect some secluded beaches and bays, crazy rock formations, and yeah, this should be an amazing boat tour. I went on a three hour boat tour with the guys from Reef and Beyond, and it really was such a good way of seeing the whole island from a different perspective. Not only did we see Ball's Pyramid in the distance, but we also got to see some really unique angles of Mount Gower too. So this is absolutely brilliant. I've just come down to Ned's Beach, and for a dollar you get yourself a cup, and you can feed the fish. And there are so many fish here. Look at them all! Feeding the fish, it literally is so much fun. I mean, these fish have it so easy with everyone bringing them food every day, but it's definitely one of the top things to do here. I'd also really recommend visiting Lord Howe Island Museum just to say hello to the infamous stick insect. Now, they may look kind of scary, but this is the only place where you can find these stick insects in the world. So they're kind of famous on the island. I've just started the Goat's House hike, which is a trail taking to a gorgeous viewpoint overlooking the island. Now, I'm currently walking through the trees, got the banyan trees all around me. So it's a good start. Apparently it takes about an hour to get to the top and the views from up there are supposed to be absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a tough hike and it, yeah, it will make you sweat. So make sure you wear comfortable shoes and bring along some water too. Just wait till you get to the top though. Woo! So I've made it to the top of Goat House K, which is all around me and the views from up here are unbelievable. It's a tough climb, it's like 1.3 kilometers straight up. But once you get to the top, ah, oh, this is what's worth it. This is what it's all about. I think I can honestly say this is the most beautiful spot I've ever been paddleboarding in. I mean, oh, I could be on the water all day. I mean, all of the views around here are gorgeous. The water is so clear, and this is how to spend a day in the water. Another 
one of the top things to do on the water here is to hire a kayak, which is kind of what I've got at the moment, and uh, paddle out to Rabbit Island there in the background. Now, it takes about an hour round trip to kind of get there and back, and then once I get there, I'm gonna have a little explore of the island as well. I made it over to Rabbit Island and I just parked the kayak, climbed to the top of a tiny little hill and now I have the most unbelievable view again. Lord Howe Island just does not disappoint. I'm just climbing to the top of Kim's Lookout Point for sunset, which is just going on behind me. It takes about half an hour to get to the top, depending on uh, how quickly you rush, and I've been rushing because I want to get to this lookout point because that is the view. And that is incredible. Kim's lookout point, one of the best views on the whole island. I have had such an incredible time exploring all Lord Howe Island has to offer and this place really is unlike anywhere else in Australia. If you like beautiful beaches and dramatic landscapes, you know, like that guy in the background, then you really can't go wrong with this little slice of paradise. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my video about Lord Howe Island. Of course, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. I always make sure I get back to everyone. And if you've enjoyed this video, then subscribe and follow my adventures.